Hello everyone and welcome. Today I was gonna do a makeup tutorial, a total face makeup tutorial, but I noticed this rash here and um, mm -mm. I'm gonna have to leave that for another time. But I am gonna apply something to my eyes and my lips. I'm gonna start off with this night cream. I know it's broad daylight. But that's what I have, so that's what I'm going to use. Okay, I'm going to apply some of the Sneaker K lip balm. And it looks tinted, but it's really not. Yeah, it's a lip balm. Smells like strawberries, and that's what I've got left. I love this stuff. What I'm gonna do is apply the primer to my lids. Again, this is the Ruby Kisses 24 Hour Magic Eyelid Primer. And a primer. Why do we use primers? To, um, it's to help the eyeshadows last longer. I'm not going to use a base today. A base is uh, usually it's a, a cream shadow, yeah. And the base is used for vibrancy, to bring out the colors and uh, shadows. I like to blend my primer in well. Okay, got that on. I think I'm also going to use the uh, LA Colors palette in traditional. Oh my goodness, I've had this forever. It's one of my favorite palettes. Yeah, I'm going to be using this. Mm. I need this brush right here. I need a few of those actually. So my defining brushes. I'm going to begin by applying that white shadow right there to my brow bones. Sometimes I do my brows before I do the shadows. Sometimes I don't. I don't have a set way of how I do my makeup, I really don't. I just go with the flow. Okay, now that's done. Let's take another detail brush. And I'm going to be picking up the NYX Blush and Taupe. Applying that to my crease. And the Alder V. You are all doing well. I'm okay. Thanks to God. Thanks to God. Well, at least as well as can be expected. Okay. Oops. <laughs> Can't forget the other eye. Take that shadow right there. My finger is. Apply that to my lids. Blending in the 
and blush I applied on the outer V. This is going to be a very light look. Might go strong on the liner. Well, I, I just might. Let's see. That looks nice right there. Okay. Now I'm going to take a crease brush and I'm going to be applying Espresso Blush by NYX. My auto V and crease. Yeah, that one that right up. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to take the Maybelline browser and brunette. this prestige angled eyeshadow brush and apply that right out of me right there Looks about right. And nothing too intense, nothing too out there. It's very early in the morning. And yeah. Just going out for a bit. And pick up Cherise. She's going to be with us for a little bit. Mm, that looks good right there. If you can hear that, that sound, it's the radiator control over that so yeah. just one of those things you guys know I'm not a professional this is not a studio this is my apartment so yeah. you know what I'm gonna take oh, I'm like this mm. I'm gonna my brow pencil I'll use this one this one is Jordana and I'm a pencil on the top. My brows needed a trim and a clean up that. At least I did that the day before yesterday. Satisfied with the way it turned out. Okay. I don't want the brows too defined or too heavy today. You know, I know a lot of makeup artists cringe when I do my makeup. Especially when I'm applying blush on my eyes. But you guys know I dance to the beat of a different drum. 
I'm not a professional makeup artist. This is just a get ready with me. And this is my own personal makeup. I'm a therapist, not a makeup artist. And I have two daughters that do not wear makeup, so I don't share with anyone. I have no one to share my makeup with. And there's certain things I just wouldn't share anyways. Such as eyeliners. Have you ever seen someone with pink eye? Yeah. It's highly contagious. Stone. Should I use stone? You know what I think I will? Use this blush and stone. I am. Um, NYX. Oh, there it goes. Another crease brush. Use that to blend that out some. If I didn't tap up my brushes the way I do, I'd have so much fallout. You know what? I'm gonna take the Maybelline Brow Kit. This little detail brush. And I'm gonna line my upper lash line. Actually, there's an eyeliner that I want to try. I left it in the room. So let me go get it. I'll be right back. I'm back. There's actually two liners I've been meaning to use, and they're still in the packaging. This one is the Milani Shadow Eyes, and this is a 08 Espresso line. And then there's a Maybelline Master Smoky in 625 Scorching Brown. Hmm. Uh, I think I'm going to go with the Maybelline for now. In 625 Scorching Brown. Let's see what this do. Oh, it's a smudger. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Very nice. Mm -hmm. I'll, um, go over that line with this one, and then I'll set this one. And this is a really deep brown. I like that. So what do you guys have on the agenda for today? Yeah, we are taking a little walk and after that, going into Harlem of course, pick up baby girl. Actually, I'm going all the way into the country to get her. I'm bring her back here with me. I miss her. I miss all the kids. Like that. And 
I'm going to take the Maybelline Brow Kit with the same little brush, pick up the brow powder, and I'm going to set that eyeliner and smudge it at the same time. Um, softer liner. That's good. Tony, it's fun to think outside the box. I mean, if it's your personal makeup, yeah, it's one to experiment and find other uses. I have used a um, lipstick as cream blush. In a pinch once, I even used lipstick as um, a base for my eyeshadow. I went very light with it, and it did work out. Yeah, you know, it's only makeup. <laughs> you grab a makeup wipe or just wash it off. Oh, wait a minute. Line, my lower lash line, son. Right along the lashes. Not all the way. You guys can see this. <laughs> yeah. The mascara. I think I'll take this makeup forever. I got this for my birthday from Sephora. I don't know, lash pro, there has to be someone here. This is the little um, bin I usually go for when I do um, change up the products. Okay, my lash curler. Curl those lashes. Makeup Forever, a little mini mascara, samples in black. It's okay. I'm out of my favorite mascara, which is the Nika K. I have a few in there that are unopened, still in the packaging. When I'm done with those mascaras, I will be repurchasing my Nika K. Mm -hmm. No doubt. Not the other eye. Yeah, um... I believe I'm going to be taking you guys to 34th Street. It's been a very long time since I've been to Jack's. If you search in my, um, my channel, in the search bar, type in Jack's 99 cents world or Jack's 99 cents store. There's a few videos up. They're old. So I haven't been there for a while. store is amazing. It's over there at Penn Station. Oh, to the lower lashes right. 
I don't always apply mascara on my lower lashes. But since I'm not wearing much today, as far as makeup goes, I figure why not. And there you have it. Oh, my camera's blinking. Oh no. Sorry about that. I had to um, charge my camera. Battery had died. And there goes my mascara. I apply one coat. Now the lips. I'm going to grab the Sneaker K lip pencil in dark purple. Align my lips with that. Yeah, I would have liked to have done a full face tutorial if you're already with me. But I'd rather let that breathe, you know. Let it heal. Rather. <laughs> I wouldn't want to make matters worse. You know what I mean? And that's a Nika K lip pencil in uh, dark purple. I'm gonna grab the lipstick by Clean Colors, the Femme Clean Color line. And again, this is um, number 12, Burnt Sugar. And that is what Burnt Sugar looks like. It smells so good. Um, do I have any gloss in here? On this one, it's um shiny kiss, and this is um Victoria's Secret. Uh, sheer gloss. Clear really is just lightly tinted. You can't really even see that on the lips. Gives off a lot of shine though. You know what? I think I'll just use this um, <laughs> NYC New York Color Cream Stick and this is in Plaza Pink. That's what Plaza Pink looks like. Just with my finger. Just a little. Very little. I really wasn't planning on applying any blush, but I uh, might as well. The 
that's a good ring. These earrings I'm wearing from the beauty supply store. I paid a dollar for them and they came with this necklace. Silver tone. My friends, that is it. That's how my look turned out. I hope you enjoy. Thank you all so very much for watching. May God bless each of you and your entire families. And until the next one, stay blessed, beautiful, and ciao.